Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do a quick video for my weekly update haul. I got one DVD here that you can see in front of you, and then I have, I think, there's eight Blu-rays that I've picked up over the week. And this one here is called The Curious Case of the Campus Corpse, and this is a Shriek Show edition, and it was put out in conjunction with Code Red. And the original title for this film was called The Hazing. This came out in the 70s. I believe it was 77. And it's kind of a grindhouse type film. Um, I wouldn't really know how to categorize it. On IMDb it says it's a comedy, but it's definitely not a comedy. It's not a horror. It's kind of like a suspense. Um, if I give too much of it away, I just watched this a couple nights ago. If I give too much of the movie away, then it gives up the whole plot away. But... I guess basically the synopsis of the film is there's a college freshman who uh, gets into a, a college campus as a track athlete and he joins a fraternity and um, the movie is very grainy I, I like the feel of it it does have that grindhouse feel to it and actually here I'll just I'm gonna read the back it says uh, the curious case of the campus corpse which like I said used to be called the hazing they should have just kept that title and it says it's inspired by a true story. I'm not sure. I never looked into it. I'm not sure how much of the story is true or not. But it says Craig Lewis seems to have it all. A gorgeous girlfriend, good grades, and now he's going to be going to the college of his dreams. But the dream dissolves into a nightmare when a college hazing results in a corpse in a freezer. So... Um, there's a there's a big prank in this movie. It's not really a comedy. And it, like I said, it's not a horror it just has like some drama and some, some suspense elements to it. And um, there are a couple special features. There's a um, commentary and there's interviews with the cast and crew. You get an orig original theatrical trailer for The Hazing. You get a photo gallery. You get Shriek Show trailers, which is pretty cool. You can see about 10 different trailers. And they have the option where you can watch them all in a row, which I love that. And then it has an alternate opening sequence where it shows the title of The Hazing in the beginning instead of The Curious Case of the Campus Corpse. I do recommend this movie. I bought this on eBay for three bucks, and it's in brand new condition. There's not a scratch on it. And so for three bucks, I don't mind adding an obscure title like this to my collection. And there you see the Shriek Show and then you, in conjunction with Code Red. So... That is the first one I picked up. Um, second one I got is, I finally got the Aladdin. This was the Best Buy exclusive with the lenticular cover. And it, I had a hard time finding this. I actually ended up spending $22 on eBay to get this because my Best Buy instantly sold out. And for some reason, when I went online to order it, it said you can only pick it up in the store, even though I know for a fact some people did order it. But whatever, I did pick it up, so... I'm glad to have it in the collection, and it's the Blu-ray DVD combo. And I will be giving away the Aladdin Digibook in my upcoming contest, which I'm going to do another video right after this one to announce that I did finally get over 500. I'm barely over 500. To be exact, I'm at 501 right now, but the thing about it is I, you know, I, I gain a couple and then I lose a couple, so it's hard to tell where I'm going to be by, you know, like tomorrow or the next day. But at the very moment right now, I am at 501. And I'm going to give three people a shout out in my next video. Three people that uh, gave me a little push here the last couple days and got me over the 500 hump, and I really appreciate that. And then I'm going to show you guys some of the prizes that I'll be giving out. And that will be directly after this video, so keep an eye out for that. The next one I got was... Uh, this is a film from Sub Rosa Studios, srsstudios.com, and this one was, I believe this one was limited to 100, and the quantity is very scarce right now, so if you guys are interested, this is a double feature of Lethal Nightmare and Hallucinations. There's two titles on one Blu-ray. And let me see here. Um, two Twisted Terrors on Blu-ray for the first time, and this came out in 2015 and like I said there's only a hundred of these available and I think he's down to maybe I want to say like 10 or so it's just a guess but I know he's, he's very low on, on stock for these so 
I don't know if he's going to produce any more after this hundred. I think once he, you know, sets a limit, he sticks to it. So I'll just give you a little synopsis here of uh, Lethal Nightmare. It says, um, the Super 8 remake of an early shot on video project entitled Hallucinations. The film is an exploitation journey through the mind en route to a lesson into the macabre. Horror has many forms, many shapes, and many hiding places. As three brothers of different backgrounds, of different frames of mind, grow apart, their fears grow rabid and real. Will the terror ever, ever stop? Produced, written, and directed by Todd Smith and the legendary Mark and John Polonia. So it's another Polonia Brothers. I'm sorry about that glare, guys. I was, uh, I was looking over my phone as I was reading that, so... It's hard to read because it's very, very small. So I have to look past the phone to uh, to read that. And then Hallucination says, From the cult filmmaking team of the Polonia brothers comes a tale of three brothers. Okay, basically it's the, it's the same movie. This was the shot on video and this is the remake, I'm, I'm assuming. I haven't watched it yet. so. But this one did come with a poster. I'm not going to fold it out. Or unfold it, rather. But uh, this is the image of the poster. So that's pretty cool. And then you have both features on the one disc there. So that is the Sub Rosa Studios release. Um, this was one that I, I missed at first. This was put out a couple months ago, I think. And uh, when I went to the website, it said it was uh, sold out. So I contacted Ron through Facebook, and he said he had a, had a couple left. So if you guys are interested in this, if you guys like shot on video movies and you're, you, know, you like limited stuff, go ahead and contact Ron from SRS Studios and grab one of those before they're gone. Okay, the next one I got here is a Scream Factory title. This is another double bill, and this is Troll, Troll 2. And this is the limited edition with the documentary called The Best Worst Movie on DVD. And I probably wasn't going to double dip on this one until I found out they had the exclusive documentary with this edition. I think it was limited to 3,000. So it could be that this is sold out by now. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. I pre-ordered this, so... Um, I do have these on DVD, and I, I'm, I, you know, they're they're decent movies, but um, I don't love the films. But I had to grab it for the documentary, I guess. I didn't think I was ever gonna upgrade this to Blu-ray, but I thought, why not? And there's the documentary right there, best worst movie on DVD, and then you have both features on the Blu-ray here. And I'm sure a lot of you out there who watch my videos have picked this up already. And then there's the inside. You get the um, original poster stills and um, a little poster, I guess, a little advertisement of the best worst movie, which I have not watched yet. But I will put that in and check it out. I'm trying to see here. It was The documentary was made in 2009, and it's 93 minutes. So that's one hell of a documentary. It's like a feature-length film, 93 minutes, hour and 33 minutes, so... Um, I'll show you the two Code Red titles that I picked up on Blu-ray, and I have not opened these yet. The Rats Are Coming, The Werewolves Are Here, and I, I like these kind of uh, uh, drive-in theater type B-movies. And this is an Andy Milligan film, and um, you guys all know Andy Milligan. He uh, wasn't really known for his stellar filmmaking. He does have some pretty nice techniques. I'll give him that. You know, he's he's a cult um, movie maker, I guess, and he has a cult following, but his movies were never really the greatest. So that is The Rats Are Coming, The Werewolves Are Here. And then I got Terror Circus on Blu-ray, and this is another one I didn't think I would ever upgrade. This is um, The Barn of the Naked Dead. That's This is the alternate title. Actually, this is the original title. The Barn of the Naked Dead was the alternate title. And stay tuned for my next video for the contest update, and you guys can win... Uh, out of print code red DVD of the Barn of the Naked Dead. It's a twin pack. Um, the movie itself is it's decent. It's not great. It's um, another, you know, it's kind of like a drive-in B movie. So you got to kind of know what you're getting into with that. And I should have told you the uh, spy number here is 46 for Terror Circus. And the spy number is 33 for The Rats Are Coming, The Werewolves Are Here. I have three more to show, and these were pickups that I just got on Friday. I picked these up at Barnes & Noble. They were on sale here, and this is The Third Man. And I kind of gave up hope of ever getting this on Criterion, as you guys know out there, all you collectors, that The Third Man on Criterion Blu-ray is it's out of print, and it's been out of print. 
and it's going for like I think I've seen it anywhere from 150 to, to over 200 bucks for just the movie so I picked up the Studio Canal Blu-ray which will suit me just fine it was um, 1999 on sale plus I'm a member so I got 10% off of that I think I ended up paying let's see um, I picked that up for 1439 as you can see right here third man 1439 so I thought that was a good deal for a blu-ray and next I got uh, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 a space odyssey this is my probably my favorite Kubrick uh, the shinings up there too but this one was on sale for 1499 plus 10 percent off plus I was a member so I got this one for 1214 for space odyssey so I thought that was pretty good and then this is a film I wanted to get for a while I saw this on TV years ago and I, I love it I'd never had it on DVD or VHS, and now I have it on Blu-ray in this, um, what is this, the IBF, uh, or BFI, I'm sorry. This is the BFI in conjunction with Universal, and this is the Slipbox Edition, um, Double Indemnity, the 70th anniversary. And you can see here that the original price was $29.99. I would never pay that for this. It was 40% off of that, plus I had 10% off with my membership, and I got that movie for $12.95. So for $12.95, thank you, yes, I will take Double Indemnity, the collector's edition. And this one comes with a poster and lobby card reproductions, plus a rare alternate ending still. You can see some of the stuff that comes with it. Actually, I should probably just pop this open real quick and show you guys. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So there you have the, it's not the sturdiest slip box, but um, it's pretty cool. You know, I like these kind of additions like that. And then you have the Blu-ray here. There's the spine and uh, there's an HD code. I'm not going to give that away just yet. I'll give it away, but um, maybe in a different video. So you get the Blu-ray there, no insert or anything, but you do get some bonus stuff there's like this little envelope here that came with it Let's see if i can do this one-handed all right and th this is just basically it's like a little uh cardboard sleeve and this stuff just sits in there no big deal with that but it says um universal Dub double indemnity art and photography cards archive so there you see um edward g robinson right there and you see Fred McMurray right there this is a pretty nice little still from the film it says alternate ending gas chamber still from double indemnity and then you have some uh, poster art there on the lobby card which looks pretty nice this is Barbara Stanwyck and there's some more Edward G Robinson and Fred McMurray Get, oops, sorry about that. Let me see if I can get in a little bit closer here. I love these film noir movies. I think they're fantastic. This is kind of a lost art, too. You don't really see film noir movies like this anymore, really. Here's some nice poster art there. And then... There. That looks really nice. I don't know if it's the quality is picking up on your guys' end when you're watching this, but it looks really, really nice in person. I do recommend driving this one. I couldn't pass it up for 12 bucks. And then uh, what else was I going to see if there's any special features here? There's, uh, see, the movie itself is from 1944 from Paramount Pictures. Is that what it says? Paramount sold the rights to Universal and then if I got involved I'm not exactly sure how that happened but the hour is 140 hour and 48 minutes and then it says for special bonus features you get the introduction by Turner Classic Movies host and film historian Robert Osborne and you get the shadows of suspense plunge into the world of the 1940s Hollywood with a revealing look at the movie masterpiece you get a feature commentary by film historian Richard Schnickel Another feature commentary by film historian, screenwriter, Lem Dobbs, and film historian, Nick Redman. And Double Indemnity, 1973. You get the full-length 
It says full length made for TV movie based on the 44 film. So it looks like you get two films, two different versions of it, the 44 and the 1973 TV movie. So that's pretty cool. So there, those were my pickups for this week, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to make another video directly after this one. And I'm going to show you guys some of the spoils of my upcoming contest. I'm going to give three shout outs to people who really kind of pushed me over the 500 hump. Because I was sitting like around 480, between 480 and 500 for the longest time, it seemed like. And a couple of my nice friends out there in YouTube land kind of uh, spread my channel around and got me over the hump. So I want to show them some much respect and uh, show you guys what you could win in the upcoming contest. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.